let's take a look back at the cost of a state dinner for Joe Biden when Trudeau held a going away party for him in late 2016. It's Justin Trudeau's friends and your money. And it's going to get a lot worse if Biden steals that presidency. Justin Trudeau has now officially congratulated the so-called president-elect Joe Biden. And I say so-called because the call has been made by the media and not the actual electoral college. And friends, I'm not exactly an expert in American civics, but I'm definitely sure that is not how it works at all. But anyway, with several states still being contested and real clear politics shifting Arizona out of the win column for Biden on Monday, Trudeau is still throwing due process to the wind as he tends to do with all things from the We Charity Scandal to SNC-Lavalin. Trudeau has sent his official congratulations on behalf of Canada to Joe Biden, regardless of what could be weeks of legal wrangling in the United States before we really know exactly what went on. You see, Trudeau likes Biden, and that's fine. They're both cognitively challenged liberal men with busy hands, fellow travelers in the powerful hair sniffer circles of Ottawa and Washington and all that, but We, as taxpayers, have already paid quite handsomely for the first date that kicked off their bromance about four years ago, when Biden was most definitely an outgoing vice president after that crooked old crone Hillary Clinton lost to President Donald Trump in November 2016. It was a very expensive meeting, a so-called state visit. However, it served no real purpose then to solidify the personal relationship between the two men. It actually accomplished nothing. And I know this because I have January 2017 documents detailing the get together and all the costs associated with it. And I also have an order paper question response where the government had to do its best to create a reason for the state dinner and it couldn't. First, let me show you the expenses because Trudeau blew a huge chunk of taxpayer cash to meet with the Democrat VP after the Democrats lost to Trump. Take a look at this. These are our exclusive access to information documents from back in early 2017. We asked the government to provide copies of any documents such as invoices, receipts, expense reports, etc., showing all costs associated with the state dinner held for U.S. Vice President Joe Biden on December 8th, 2016 in Ottawa. So again, to be clear, a month after the Democrats lost to Trump, Trudeau throws the Democrats a state dinner, not a party for incoming President Donald Trump to build a relationship with him, but one for outgoing Joe Biden. And the cost? $62,593 $62,593 in hospitality charges. We're not done, though. Another $3,800 in wine and booze. Another $11,520 to the Cross Group. And another 10236 bucks in just limo rentals for the night. Roughly $88,200 dollars to wine and dine the loser democrats it was a slight at president donald trump for trudeau to have a going away party for biden of course because as we know the liberals are petty and that's not a shocker at all but should we as canadian taxpayers have to pay for trudeau's personal pettiness i don't think so now how do i know it was nothing more than a going away party for joe biden well because i have an order paper response to a question asked by Colin Carey, the Conservative MP for Oshawa, about what trade deals, agreements, or treaties were reached at that expensive meeting. I mean, frankly, what could the meeting have accomplished? Biden had a foot out the door back then the way he sort of has a foot in the grave right now. Anyway, take a look at this response by the Liberals to Carey's question about trade deals. The Prime Minister was pleased to host Vice President Biden in Ottawa in December 2016. The Prime Minister used the opportunity to discuss issues of importance to both Canada and the United States. Canada has no greater friend and ally than the United States. Our deep people-to-people ties and strong integrated economies provide the basis for our prosperous partnership 
Canadians and Americans face many of the same challenges, and we are all better off when we tackle these issues together. Now, that is one very long way to say it was a party because they could have one and nothing was accomplished and shut up if you're wondering why it even happened. Now, I'm going to do my best to use that fancy excuse the next time I sneak out for drinks with the girls. Sheila has no greater ally than her girlfriends. Sheila and her girlfriends face many of the same challenges and we are all better off when we tackle those issues together over Bud Lights and mimosas. Now, if Biden does officially steal the election, and that is a very strong possibility that he will, I think it's fair to say we can expect many more people-to-people shindigs and soirees for Trudeau's friends in Washington with no other reason to hold them than it's their friends and your money making it happen. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. The CBC is never going to tell you how much money Justin Trudeau blew whining and dining the Democrats after they lost in 2016. It's on us here at Rebel News to tell you the other side of the story, but these sorts of access to information investigations can take a lot of time and they are expensive and laborious. Now, if you'd like to help us cover the cost to do these sorts of investigations, you can donate today at rebelinvestigates.com.